what a man can do, a woman can excel at it as well. This holds sway, particularly in this instance. A female cab driver. Our curiosity was piqued. Our guest unusual today is Susan Agogo Asaka. I'm from Delta State. I was born and raised in Lagos State. I had my primary and my secondary education in Lagos State, and I proceeded to Enugu State, where I studied accounting at the University of Nigeria. After which, I went to serve my country in Taraba. I needed to be on my own, and the pay, the salary was not doing it for me anymore. So yeah, I thought of a couple of ideas. I ran them by my dad, he was my biggest supporter. And then he says, okay, go and pray, and then choose one, whichever one you choose, let me know. So I went, and I prayed about it. And somehow, somehow, I chose the one that I did not even have capital for, the taxi driving. And I called my father and I'm like, see what's going on. And he's like, don't worry, we'll find a way. So that's how he got the loan. And then he got the car. Surprisingly, Susan had not learned to drive when she made up her mind to drive a cab for a living. According to her, a little over two weeks was all she needed. The car came and I started using it to learn how to drive. So I would drive myself from work, because I was still working at the hotel at the time, from work to church, from work to church, around inside the estate and all that. And then I became perfect in it. I started October 10, 2015. And then um, the car came September 20th, 2015. First day I ventured out, let's see. I went to Prince and Princess. I dropped a friend there, all the way. <laughs> I dropped a friend there, and then I decided to scout for passengers. And then my first passenger says, Airports. And in my head, I'm like, I don't know where airport is. I've traveled via um, air before, and then I've no, I don't look at the road. I've not driven, so I don't even know how to get there. And I ask her, Madam, do you know how to get there? And she's like, I don't know too. I'm like, okay, do you mind? We'll find, we'll ask around. She now says, okay, let's go. The challenge, the first challenge was I did not know how to get there. Second challenge was I did not even know how to charge. Up at 6 a.m., Susan is out and about as early as 7.30 a.m. and sometimes doesn't call it a day until 11 p.m. Does she take any safety measure? And I have some sort of weapon in my car waiting for anybody that wants to try me during the day self. So you will get it hot if you try me during the day. I've got pepper spray, I've got um, something. After I spray your eyes, I hit you with something. When I have to work late, it's with trusted customers. Handling a flat tire is a small matter for Susan, but maintaining a car requires much more. How equipped is she to handle the situation should her car have a breakdown? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give myself, let me give myself a 5, let me know up it. I know where to check for oil, I know where to check for water, I know that if my, I know when I need to service, I know my tires, I know how to change them. I know a lot of whole, a whole lot of things that I had no idea of before I started the job. Susan is excited to be independent. Beyond that, how does she feel, being that she plies her trade in a male-dominated profession? When I do the pom 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 thing and they stop me, I think usually they don't know it's a woman. When I've come to a halt and they bend down to say I'm going so and so, you see them, they drop back and like. Sorry, is it taxi? I'm like, yes, ma. She's like, okay. Ah, this is the first time I'm seeing a taxi. So they go from surprised to excited to impressed. They just have a wave of emotions and then they finally board. Focused and determined as Agogo is, she reiterates all the qualities one ought to have to thrive in this endeavor. I've been punctual, but I don't like lateness. Where I used to work, I was punctual for the three years I was there. I love punctuality. And then Determination, like I said, when the car came, they thought that, okay, the car has come. You have to drive this thing. My determination spurred up my zest to drive. I'm like, okay, it has come. I have to succeed in it. The drive to succeed is high. First of all, I stop her. I see a woman. I was scared. When I enter the car, she's driving very careful. I enjoy it. 
Honestly, I enjoy it. I just concluded that uh, I'll do this, I'll grow it, I'll get more females in it. For what Susan, being a commercial cab driver okay, so is an enviable position. The plus sides okay, outweigh so any real or imaginable challenges. She talks about how lucrative her profession is. I would say if you're looking to get into taxi business, get into it, it is lucrative. There is dignity in labor, and so for this graduate of accountancy, driving a cab is not belittling. It is in her passion, her pride, a venture in which she hopes to count the gains as an entrepreneur in the near future.